Hey guys, Toby's here, and this is a metal plate with zinc plating, so magnet can attach to it. And based on this metal plate, I designed an interesting SMT storage solution, which is this. This is a stack of SMT cartridge. Each of them can be individually pulled out and refilled. On the side here, you will see a slot. So the pin right here can be slid into the hole or the slot and click in place. On the bottom here, there is a soft magnet which is stick to the base rail via a double-sided tape. So the whole rail or the whole stack of cartridges can be stick onto a metal plate like this. Let's put this aside and let me show you a few examples on how I use them. This is a stack of resistors. The white cartridge are the 5% one and the black cartridge are the 1% one. And all of them are in the 0805 packages, but this cartridge can also fit 0603 up to 1206. Each of the cartridges can be pulled out independently and you will see a row of resistor inside the cartridge. When you want to use the SMT components, you can pull this little plastic tab here to pull the whole paper tape out and use your vacuum suction tools to pull out the resistor or the SMT component you want. Alternatively, you can also pull out a whole stack and reverse it and pull it out from here. That way, um, you can quickly get lots of components with a simple pull. Other than resistor, I also made the capacitor versions with a different color scheme. I also made a cartridge for LEDs. So we got blue, red, white, green, warm white, and orange LED. And there are also some empty slots so that I can expand this stack later. You might be wondering, how could I store the ICs? Well, to store IC or packages in SOP form factors, I use the 2U unit instead. This is a 2U stack. Each of the cartridge occupy 2 units of space, which indicate by the number of slots it is occupied by the cartridge. And for this one, for example, it is an SOP16 package and you can also easily pull it out from here. This also compensates other kind of packages including SOT223 like the AMS1117, um, the SOP14 and SOP8. So the 2U form factor is already enough for me to store most of my ICs and LDOs needed. For comparison, this is a stack of 1U unit. The 2U unit is basically identical as the 1U unit with magnet on the bottom here. So they can be attached to this metal plate. And this metal plate can be mounted on your wall. So when you need your components, you just pull a whole stack of components out from the wall and then attach it onto your workbench. You can also have an empty rail or empty rack on your workbench and just pull out the parts needed for this particular build. But for me, I usually store the parts that is used as a module in the same rack. For example, this um, comparator modules which has LEDs and a few of the common value of resistors that we'll be using with the LM324. So I will usually put them in 
rack here so that when I need a particular module for my PCB build I'll just pull the whole rack like this from my wall and then attach it to my workbench so that I can work on it from there so this is a small update on how I manage my SMT components when I'm working with my projects if you are interested all the files are open source so you can get them on my Thingiverse or my Instructable post. So see you in the next video. Bye.